Hey guys, so on today's show we're going to be taking a first hand look at some of the inspections that the teams go through, meet a couple teams and as well some of the sponsors. I'm Cheyenne and Baja Today starts now. Uh, so just looking to make sure that the car meets the rules, specifically in the roll cage, you know, distance between named points, uh, material thickness, weld samples, that all the geometry is correct, and that they overall have a safe roll cage in case they end up uh, upside down. Generally, you know, after doing this for a few years, you get a pretty good feel for the geometry and can just kind of look at a car and know what meets and what doesn't. You can see the geometry when it's not right. You can see when the distances are longer than they're supposed to be. Um, and so then we'll, you know, get out tape measure and verify. And if they don't pass, then we'll work with the teams to come up with a solution to make sure that they meet the rules and stay safe. So if there is an issue with a car, we'll have them do whatever needs to be done. Usually it's adding a welded member or sometimes it's eliminating a driver from the driver list. So if that's the case, that you know, it's the team's decision. They can either add members, add more clearance for the driver, or they can say, yeah, that guy's just not going to drive anymore and we can remove his wristband and he's off the driver's list. Um, usually teams will try to let people drive so they'll go back to the pits and cut and weld and rebuild. And, uh, you know, I talk with them on how I check the car so that they can check the car themselves before coming back so that hopefully they'll pass first try when they come back. So what we're looking for today at the Baja competition is we're looking for some early on specifications that the teams are doing to kind of help set up their car for the year. And then some R&D of what are they looking to actually do, what style suspension, what style chassis, um, what drivetrain are they looking to do. And then from there, how does that break out into some CAD? So you got to have your vehicle, full vehicle, in the computer, in your CAD software to help you, one, design parts to get a full vehicle, but also get a full setup so that you can help do different analysis on the vehicles. Um, you can input different loads. And that's what we're really looking for is have your design and then validate it via different type of loads. And then once you have the vehicle, go out and collect loads so that you can verify were we right, were our assumptions correct, so that at the end of the day when you're done iterating, you have a good design that has passed all of your validation criteria, met your specifications, and that you can come in positively to the competition and be happy hopefully with the results. Polaris is involved in events like this because we are an off-road company, you know, wanting to bring the people in college up to look at off-road as one a career path, but also get them into the sport and get people with a big passion for the off-road community. It's awesome to be out here and see all the vehicles and talk to the students that are designing these things and see their passion for what they're creating. And that's what we like at Polaris, is someone who wants to come up and be passionate about the product and get out there and ride. The car's name is actually Stephanie. Um, because we're an all-female team, we like to name our cars after women in STEM field. Um, our seat's made out of Kevlar, which was designed by a young lady named Stephanie. Um, so. We kind of like to keep that trend. Um, we have a very actually new team. Uh, only two of us have been on the team for about a year and a half. The other ones have been on the team for about a semester. Uh, so they've definitely been working hard, doing a good job. Uh, we've had two design uh, or two redesigns this semester or this year. Uh, was the drivetrain for increased torque and our turn radius was at 15 feet and we wanted to reduce it to 12. Um, that's kind of what we focused on. Everything else was either from last year or from previous years that we knew would work together well. Um, so that's kind of what, what, what we went with. <laughs> so being an all women's team, it's kind of funny. Uh, people are always kind of like shocked that we're an all women's team and we just kind of laugh. All right, like that's the norm for us. Um, we are not an all female school by any means. The male to female ratio at Embry-Riddle in Daytona Beach is actually, it's like five to two or something like that. So there are way more guys than there are females. And that's why we have such a small team is because we can, it's, hard to recruit what you don't have so yeah but it's it's been interesting it's, it's a lot of fun uh, everyone here is really friendly uh, we're always trying to help people out they're trying to help us out we actually got <laughs> docked next to our neighbors at UCF uh, we were with them last year at Maryland so that was that was really great we're one of the sponsors for the Baja competitions and one of the major reasons we got involved is because we have a very robust internship and co-op program. In addition to that, we have a graduate program where we recruit 
recent or upcoming graduates for um, the program within our company. And we thought this is a great opportunity not only to recruit for those programs, but also to expand our reach to universities that we wouldn't typically have a presence at. This is our third consecutive year participating and participating as a sponsor. We like this event primarily because these students have already been vetted by their university um, because they're already part of their Baja team. We look for students not only with um, a decent GPA, we look for 3.0 or more, but we like students who are involved in student organizations more than just academics. Um, obviously students have some leadership skills because they are involved in the Baja competition. Um, so we look for a well-rounded student who um, excels in their academics but also does things outside of the academic arena. That's a wrap for Baja today. Tomorrow we're going to be looking at maneuverability, the sled pull, and suspension and acceleration. All right, I'm Cheyenne. See you guys tomorrow.